Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for March 5th through March 11th. Generally my readings are love readings, but you never know. We'll see what comes up. We're going to get one oracle card, then we'll break right into the tarot deck. Envy. Envy. What do you suppose that could mean? With the golden city, the golden city behind her? Knight of Wands reversed. Greedy, conceited, unreasonable. You could be traveling. You could be starting a, new, a whole new life. Maybe you're letting go of your possessions, maybe you're letting go of things, you're letting go of unreasonable, because that's what it looks like. I think you're letting go of unreasonable needs, things you don't need. I don't need that. And I say that because if you look at her, she's not wearing a nice dress, it's like raggy. Although it appears that she has plenty. That's probably her house, her home, or whatever. I don't know what that is in the background. There could be a release of something heaviness. Maybe you just decide to let it go. You let something go. Maybe you're dropping some weight. Literally. Literally. Yeah, it looks like you have decided I just want to be happy. I'm not I'm not going to head in that same direction anymore. Now the only thing I'm looking for is happiness. I don't want to carry around heaviness. I don't want to carry around heavy weight. It's all about doing the right thing. And I feel as though many of you have finally decided to make something final. I quit. I quit being impulsive. I quit needing all those things. At this point, all I need is love. And I feel as though You've lost the willpower to fight. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm 
many have you of you have decided to deepen your spiritual practice and you have evolved spiritually and the need for possessions and things and to impress or no law that's where the envy card comes out you know want no longer want to people to be envious of you now it's about love and that's the major life lesson you have completed a phase in your life and I feel like you are starting a new journey where it's no longer about what it's about love the best things in life are not things the best things in life are not things and I feel as though many of you have reached a fork in the road where you just don't want to go anywhere it's like I don't want to I don't want to fight about anything I don't want to go down I don't want to I don't I don't want to expand I think you lack excitement for new things like you used to before it's not about the things if this is this is someone who it has very much believes in themselves follows their own path with faith this could also be some sort of mentor okay I'm just gonna get the last card I feel as though you've worked very hard in this lifetime you've worked very hard for all that you have nothing's been given to you you've had to work for it and you have and I feel like you've reached a point where it's time to take a break it's time to love yourself it's time to stop trying to prove yourself because you just want to be happy at this time I you just want to, I want to be happy and I don't care about things I don't care about the money right this moment I think many of you are going through a spiritual on a spiritual journey a spiritual journey you're going on a spiritual journey that is finalizing a chapter in your life okay I see I feel like there's a there's a phase there's a chapter in your life that's over and you're starting a new one and it's a whole new it's a whole new you I feel like your inner guide is guiding you along this path and you're listening. It's like oh, you can't ignore it anymore. You can't. It's, there's, there's no more. Um, you've been procrastinating. You've been procrastinating. And it's, it comes to a point where you, you, it can't last forever. The time has come. And I feel like you've really been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. You've been taking a lot of time to think about your future. And now it's time to release the old baggage, take what you've learned, and move on. And I feel like there is some kind of reveal. Something is about to be revealed that closes a chapter in your life and brings you to a much, much better place. Because the old is the old. That's the death of an idea. Okay? It's, it's over. The old is over. That old is the old. It's done. It's over. It's past. 
And I feel like the time has come where something old inside you dies so that you can have growth, new growth, so that you can water and nurture and grow your own, your new seeds, your new life, your new future. You may feel like you are going through a midlife crisis. You may feel like you are going to be let down. You may feel very lonely at this time as you are evolving because you're evolving. You may be feeling like you're lonely, but I feel as though there's an offer coming in that is very compassionate. It offers growth. You may be dreaming. You may be dreaming of a better future. But I feel as though you feel like you still don't have enough. You still don't have enough to succeed. You're dreaming of a better future. You are. You're dream this is a dreamer. But you may be dreaming about money, but I think that's in the past. I think you're changing. You're changing to love, and that's what this is it. I think you're changing to be more focused on love rather than money. I feel like there is a decrease in finances because that's not what you're focused on at this point. Maybe it no longer fulfills your ultimate wishes. I think your ultimate wishes lie in love. Perhaps the finer things in life did not fulfill your wishes. The finer things in life is reversed. Lack of wish fulfillment. Perhaps you've come to the realization that that's not what it's all about. I feel as though you had the best of intentions or you have the best of intentions. But there's an illusion here. Illusion and confusion. Love or money. Because that's what this card means. Be careful. What you own owns you with the Seven of Cups. What do you choose? Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. There is consequences for every single choice that we make in this lifetime. And the Seven of Cups is now in the center of this reading. It appears to me that your choice is love or money. Money. Depression. So, I think you've had a lot of worry about money. Stability. Insecurity. There's been a lot of worry. But it was unnecessary worry. Okay? There was unnecessary worry. Or there is unnecessary worry. Because you are going to be stable and secure no matter what. Security and stability is yours to be had with this Queen of Pentacles. Your loyalty, discipline, Responsible, practical approach 
takes you very, very far. You may be feeling very lonely, and I know I've said this already. You may be dealing with someone who is bitter. Or this could be you. You could be bitter over money. And it's caused you a lack, a loss of, of sleep. It's caused you a lot of depression. It's caused you a lot of anguish. And I feel that all it's done is brought you conflicts and challenges and trials. And you're being called to be just, to be honest, and to choose wisely. Choose wisely. Whatever has happened is bringing you closer to your life's purpose or has brought you closer to your life's purpose. For many of you, you're not moving forward, unfortunately, with the Wheel of Fortune. You're not moving forward because of your choices. When you choose love, everything else falls into place, and that is a guarantee. Trust me. This was a test. You were being tested this whole time. It appears to me that it is decision-making time. Do you choose love or do you choose money? Many of you are evolving into a new you. Some of you are not. Some of you are still stuck. Some of you are not moving forward. Some of you are going to continue to struggle because you have your priorities wrong. The best things in life are not things. We're going to read this card. Envy. If you guys are still with me, some of you have left by now, I'm sure. Lack, dissatisfaction. This card shows a woman holding a huge pearl in one hand and a platter of coins and pearls in the other. I gotta zoom that in. This is gonna sum up your reading. Imagine that, I love it when this happens. This card shows a woman holding a huge pearl in one hand and a platter of coins in another. She stands in a silver room looking out at a golden city on the horizon. She has a life of value already, but she ignores that and longs for the shining prosperity she sees elsewhere. Instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, her desire for more only causes a deep sense of lack and dissatisfaction and that energy shows in her dress. This card upright is telling you to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. Oh, after all, when you envy others, it only attracts more to them not you. Notice all that you have and thank the universe for it. If this card is near the appreciation card in your spread, the message is doubly important. Now is the time to move from a consciousness of lack to 
to one of value. With, with this shift, all things change. It just reiterated what I was saying. It did. Wow. So it's a shift of focus this week. I guess the only thing I can say is congratulations.